Hello, my name is Katarina and I will be watching page one, the first episode of Press Gang. This is my first time making a reaction video, but it is not my first time watching this show. I watched it as a child and then again in my 20s, but as you can see, my 20s was a while ago. So I will enjoy re-watching this and seeing what I remember, what I don't remember, what's different in my opinion, um, and just running a commentary. I'm quite looking forward to this and I will start the video now. I will see Linda Day looking wonderful. Um, yeah, I like that we see the newsroom first of all. And what was today's lead in the Gazette? Anyone see? Local couple nearly killed in their honeymoon. Anything in it for us? Well, we could do a cartoon, like a hearse and on the back just married. I just built bubonic plague. What story is that? It's for the horoscopes. Okay, it's hard to comment on this because they're, they're like jinxes. You know who took my chair? There was a chair at my desk. Who took it? I don't know. Fraz, you wouldn't happen to be Scorpio, would you? How do you know? Because you unexpectedly become a millionaire and your maths teacher explodes. You, Linda Day? Me, Linda Day. Again, less stupid. I was taught to say I honestly think that's answer, better right? than most yeah. horoscopes. Who volunteered you? What? Who sent you? Mr. Sullivan at the school. Fill this out and get it back to me. I've fixed another tour of the print room for oh, Wednesday, OK? Great. Thanks, Chris. Uh, listen, we're going to need two more people trained in layout and paste up. Is that possible? So, two? I'm sure I don't know. most of you him. know this. Could you but... ask him really nicely? But the I'll show was written by Stephen Moffat. Need the person. Linda, have you seen my desk? Sorry. Went on to yeah, write for Dr. Who. Yeah, have you my desk now? Linda, think. Danny! Danny, come on, there's no time for that. Oh. And, uh, oh, sleep. There are some Dr. Who people. Oh, wow, we're not still here, are well, we? Well, some people from press gang show up on Dr. Who. But Chris is Stewart. Uh, the black lady. How long have we been here? I don't she think was on Doctor Who and then was five on Five days to the first edition, Daddy. Five one, days. But I'm not sure. I don't remember what my house looks like. Can't even remember which of my parents is I think we need to Come lower the volume. Eight thirty. I was trying to. Three hours already. Where okay, is everybody? Let's try this. Quiet. 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 Everyone, pack up and out. It's eight thirty. Time for school. <laughs> So oh, they start insanely early in the morning. I wouldn't want to do that. I can never remember this song, by the way. Even when I watched the show regularly, I always recognized it. And I could never remember it afterwards. And we get more of an introduction to Matt Kerr than to any of the regulars. Why do I feel the Junior Gazette is becoming a dumping ground for all your problem pupils? Problem pupils? Linda Day, Kenny Phillips, Sarah Jackson? Oh, I've given you my star performance. Sullivan stars, eh? You've also given me Godfrey Hunter, Fraser Davis. Fraz. He insists. Not exactly stars, Bill. Plenty of energy, though. If you can get this kid to channel his energy productively, I will nominate you for the so, Nobel Prize. I mean, this Peace scene Prize. is an exposition, but it's a nice one. exposition. To the point of expulsion. So tell me, James Thompson, eight occasions of extreme insolence, oh, he's five adorable. of exceptional and potentially dangerous indiscipline, and now this incident at the school dance. You've already been suspended from school a total of six times. I will never find out about the school Normally, dance. Normally, we would now exclude you from Norbridge High on a permanent basis. However, on this occasion, we are prepared to offer you an alternative. So I showed her the new graphic and she just wrinkled her nose. What's wrong with it, I asked her. It's the I in Junior, she said. What's wrong with the I in Junior, I asked her. They want to be in one, she said. The spike is supposed to be such... Not a bad kid, but such a tough kid, and he's so innocent and it's adorable. But I mean, it is a kid's show. And you're it's... Spike Thompson, aren't you? I don't know. I can't see a thing in his glasses. Hey, you're the one who, well, you know, at the school dance, aren't you? Yeah, I'm the one who, you know, 
Uh, you know a lot. Why did you do it? You know. Benny, I was just about to interview him. You can't. He's joining. Come on, Spike. Ooh, Sarah quite likes that he's joining. We were kind of expecting you yesterday. Yeah? Well, something more interesting oh. came up. More interesting? Five yeah, I had some paint drag on my house. Edition. Didn't want to miss it. So, who volunteered you? Who volunteered me? Yeah, well, everyone here's a volunteer, whether they do their own volunteering or not. Oh, yeah. Is it Sullivan? Yeah, it was Sullivan. Yeah, right. Well, we're a junior newspaper. Hey. We're eight. She's making me do another rewrite. Eighth time lucky. Fresh. Hey, that's Fresh Davis. Yep, you should recognise quite a few faces here. We're mainly from Norbridge, right? I quite yeah. like the way the uh, Kerr wants us dialogue balances around here. Just to even yeah. the balance out a bit. Who's Kerr? Matt Kerr. You'll meet him soon enough. Oh, hang on, Spike. Jeff, we're going to need both those bookcases. Like people Fred. keep interrupting Spike. and. Your last chance. Join the kid in newspaper or get kicked out of school. I kind of thought you might end up here, you know, after what happened at the school dance. Was it right in front of the headmaster? Capricorn? Huh? Star sign. So, theories <laughs> about what happened at the school hey, dance. Are those guys you're forced to join? Yeah, those guys were. Mind you, most of these women's volunteered. Cancer? No, I think it's just spots. It's a star sign. I'll tell you something fast. They can make me come here. They can even make me join here. But nobody is going to get me to do anything here, you know? <laughs> you haven't met Matt Kerr yet, have you? No. I didn't think so. Spike, could you fill this out, please, and get it back to me as soon as possible? Let me tell you what I'm going to do here, okay? I'm going to find a corner of this place to myself. I'm going to sit with my feet high out of my head, and then I'm going to get seriously relaxed. And if you disturb me one more time talking about newspapers, you're gonna end up a smoky hole on the floor, okay? So why don't you just take this and you are so cut it into the squares for your toilet? Kenny, cut the page two buses and get more pollution from Sarah. And could oh, you get something done about sign outside? I don't think trespassers will be exterminated as really the image we're trying to project here. Okay, I like trespassers hey, so will be exterminated. Careful with this, okay? Why do you think this is toilet paper? Hello. Hi. Hey, did I get this first one right? You put a tick in the box for your name. Well, I've got one. Spike Thompson, since you asked. KD. I was getting that impression. Yes, yeah, so what's KD? Look, would you mind just filling in the form? We need to know a bit about you. Yeah, well, you could try asking. We ask on the form. Do you always make friends by questionnaire? I'm not making friends. Yeah, I can believe that. <coughs> can I tell you something? I mean, this might be kind of embarrassing coming from a guy you just met and everything, but uh, I really think you should know. Say this was like the olden days, you know, thousands and thousands of years ago. I kill a dragon for you. What? No, really, I would. I get right out there and I kill one. In fact, I'll make you an offer. If you'll go out with me some night this week, I'll make a definite commitment to kill the first dragon that I see. Are you completely out of your head? Only weekends. Well, I'll leave the lights on. So this kind of, Matt Kerr wants to see you. This kind of dynamic. Kenny, did you get yes. that stuff there? Yesterday. Not Danny, entirely. Did you give him those photographs? Uh, Comment so for anymore. But uh, he it was huge in yeah, the right, 80s and 90s. I'll just fly over there on a pig. It's very sort well, of moonlighting. Going. I'm going, I'm gone. Hey, is this the guy you're melting at the armpits about? By the way, that was absolutely the worst chat up line I've ever heard. What out of both of them? I think it's hey, a pretty inventive chatter now, actually. What you need is a grabber, right? What? I heard Stodge and Tate say so. What you need is a good story to sell a first edition. Oh, yeah, but why should you care? Because I'm going to find it for you. What happened to uh, feet in the air and smoky holes? I'm tired of being a rebel. So that's quick. <laughs> Fraz, I'll see you later. No? Fraz, Fraz, watch with the negative attitude. What? Get involved, man. Go with the flow. Enjoy yourself. Who is she? What? Which one is it? What are you talking about? It's Linda Day, isn't it? He always did like the bossy types. Taurus. I know that Fraz knows Boom. Spike so well that he knows that of all of these girls, it's Linda. And it's not necessarily like, like the most he may just find a story. glamorous so, one. So go with him. All right. Yesterday, I left a message asking if he could help us find a story for the first edition. And he gave you a lecture on how you've got to do it yourself, otherwise you won't learn anything. It's a character whose name is Chrissy, by the way. All I've done is the a school magazine. Why ask me to edit a newspaper? 
thought you seemed pretty keen at the time. It sounded pretty good at the time. A voice for today's youth. You'll manage. Yes, but without your help. That's the way it is, Linda. John, listen, I'm out of the Uh, Miss Stewart. Oh, uh, oh, now's not a good time. She was wonderful on Doctor Who, by the way. the gravity of the situation. Of course I do. We all do. This is not just another news story. This could affect the life of every single child in the country. Of course I know that. You just have to give me one moment. Okay, one moment. Excuse and Linda sneaking in here to see the story. Yes, I am. Where is she? Uh, if you could just come with me, please. Well, where are we going? Well, actually, Miss Stewart has a suggestion about your very interesting story. I don't know whether you've heard of the Junior Gazette. <laughs> oh my God! Look at that lettering. They're still there. Who are? If you could see past your mouth, maybe you'd know. Don't you worry about saying something like that to me. <laughs> Of course not. I'm a complete and utter wimp. How could you look cool duffing me up? That's a good point. <laughs> I need the math homework for tomorrow afternoon. Who's your teacher? Stanwick or Anderson? Anderson. The money maker. And do you a nice little copy tomorrow morning break. Be a pound though. This is hot right now. How Sorry. much? Look, she's one of my best sources. She's in demand. She's upping her prices. Yeah, and you're up in your cut too, I bet, huh? Hey, if you've got a better way of getting this stuff. Okay. You know I don't. Got some advertising to sell. Sell some what? Advertising for the Junior Gazette. Not you too. And not you. So what happened? My academic self-improvement scheme. <laughs> what? I remember this Just one. a little venture to help the individual pupil improve his school performance. <laughs> what were you doing? Selling blank report cards. Well, things to see people to do. Catch later, Spike. I seem to have lost something. Did you leave it lying about? Not for long. If it's the man over there you're talking about, he's decided to do his story with us. Really? And how did he find his way here? I think I must have helped him. I see. So that's the way it is. That's the way it is. Well, Linda, may the force be with you. About the disco closing down in a new supermarket. My dad was talking about it last night. You think you'll be selling to those guys? Yes, yeah, it's possible. Let's go ask him. What? Well, let's go ask him. Mr. Slade? Mr. Slade? Uh, is it true you're getting rid of the disco? What? Are you getting rid of the disco? Of course I'm not. Okay, so that since I remember stupid. the plots, I think the phrasing here from Spike... You were right. He's selling. How do you... It's kind of great. How do you think? He denied it. About toys. He's <coughs> got an extremely dangerous nature on sale here, on sale all across the country. And when I say dangerous, Miss Day, I mean lethal. Lethal? Great. Pardon? Uh, has anyone been killed yet? No. Oh, what kind of toys are they? I'll do better than tell you. I'll show you. What now? I've got some examples in the car. I'll I just love her uh, acting. Fred, I can't nice even... Uh, it's all right. I can manage. No, no, I insist. Just in case you get lost or anything. I can't even pick up a moment. I love everything with her. Kenny, we've got a story. We've got a real life, honest to God story. Hey! Hold the front page. Have we got news for you? I got zombie rats. You sure? Zombie rats, yeah. That's if you're a Pisces. Well, I don't hold much well, with astrology. If you're a Pisces, you're out of luck. Linda wanted me to do an astrology column, but I said, you know, I'd rather do the horoscopes. She didn't seem to mind. Yeah, well, maybe we could squeeze it under the crossword or something. <gasps> under the crossword? Come on, Linda, this could be lead story material. We've got a lead story. It's about to walk through that door. This could be better. No way, Kenny. No way is he getting the front page. It. No way is it getting the front page. So a story gets stuffed mm. under the crossword because it's me, right? Look, I don't need a KD finding stories for me. What's a KD anyway? Do you really want to know? A KD spike is a knuckle dragger. I didn't want to have to say this, but I'm no longer prepared to go out with you. Well, that should make a dragon very happy. Yeah, the one I'm talking to. Spike, what? I'm doing it. What? I'm getting involved, like you said. Yeah? Well, I'm leaving. What? Poor Fred, it's not now, easy to keep I up. I believe you have something to show us. Well, she's such a total complete... I mean, she's such a... And you I'm can say any of it, back. According to your school adult. files, Spike, you're a bit of a total complete such a yourself. So it seems to me you've got two choices. Yeah. You can either get back in there and get down to some serious work on the Junior Gazette, 
or else. Can you believe? Can you even begin to believe? She's like so I don't know, into this. Toy shops everywhere in the country, perhaps everywhere in the world. Is the latest American defense technology? Oh. Yeah, the Star Wars program. This punchline must be completely incomprehensible Before I go to back, anyone more nowadays. Questions. That sounded like one. Why does a guy like you? Come here, take over a local newspaper, and then set up a kitty spin-off for guys like me. Why not? Because you're big time. I've read a couple of newspaper clippings. If he was any more famous, I would have heard of you. Well, you know what they say, Spike. What? You can't believe everything you read in the papers. Great. If you could uh, just wait over there, we'll, we'll be with you in a moment. Uh, Mr. Uh... Vader. May the force be with you. Chrissy knew all along. She must have left him out in that corridor to get rid of him. Yeah, well, it kind of leaves us with one lead story, doesn't it? The disco in the supermarket. And Spike. Do you want me to go and fetch him? I dug the hole. I'll do the climbing. Why doesn't Julia Sawala have a huge career? I mean, I know she's been in a bunch of stuff, but... Oh, she's so good. I need the disco story. Aha! Look, I need the disco story and you need the paper, okay? So, truce? Yeah, I accept your apology. I haven't apologized. It's too late, I've accepted. Let's get to work. You mean you're really gonna work with a KD? How about this? You're not a KD if I'm not a dragon. Okay, then. Okay. By the way, Spike. Yeah? Look, don't get the wrong idea about this. I just have to know, right? I mean, I have to know about my staff, okay? Uh, okay. Did you really do that at the school dance? Well, you know what they say, Linda? What? can't believe everything you read in the papers. They actually get along better than I remember them. Maybe there was more quarrelling later. <laughs> Spike, this is getting boring. Is there okay, anything you don't joke somebody about? somebody who sure. wants to say hi? What? Nothing. I was just joking. Kenzie. Fun, isn't it? I've had more fun with a pencil stuck in my eye. You think we're becoming friends here? I think I feel a spark. Spike! So how long before we start going out with each other? What? Because I want to get something straight. About what? When I dump you. You want a letter, or should I just stop phoning? Oh, do you want me to ghost you? <laughs> yeah, um, I still enjoy it a lot. I, if I remember correctly, I think the show hits its stride a little bit later. Uh, and I think it was actually Colin Nutley who did... Oh, no, Kenzie wants to be a huge part of this. Um who did the first couple of episodes and I don't think he's a very good fit for Press Gang because Press Gang is very snappy, very scripted and he's a very sort of improvisational type of director. Yes, hello Kenzie. I think I need to go and talk a bit more with Kenzie.